Jurassic Park was one of the most overrated movies of all time. Who the hell am I kidding? It was a fucking classic. I watched it so many times after it came out on VHS that I probably could have recited the damn thing line for line. In the midst of this craze, a whole bunch of video game adaptations came out. There was one on the NES, Super NES, Sega Genesis, Game Boy, PC, and they were very often vastly different from each other. But the one I'm most familiar with is the Genesis version, which is the one I'll be going over today. It's a side-scrolling platformer. You take control of either Dr. Alan Grant or a Velociraptor. As either player, your goal is to escape the island, but how you get to that point differs between the two. As Grant, you're equipped with a variety of weapons, like tranquilizer darts, gas grenades, a taser, and a rocket launcher. You spare no expense. You battle your way through hazardous dinos like Dilophosaurus, Compies, Pterodactyls, and Raptors. The occasional T-Rex will pop up every once in a while, or at least its head will in a fixed location. And even the herbivore Triceratops will get in your way now and again if you piss it off. As the raptor, you'll also contend with some of these creatures, but you've also got to worry about the guards that attack you with much of the same firepower as Grant. Your means of offense are a jumping attack or a kick. I use the former way more often. The lack of a long range attack is really the only weakness of the raptor in comparison to Grant. You can jump much higher, the hazards aren't as fierce, and there are only 5 stages to Grant's 7. The Raptor is the much easier game, even though there are three difficulty settings you can apply to either of them. The Grant stages are designed completely different from the Raptor stages too, which makes sense as the mechanics are very different. The Raptor stages are generally more open, giving you more room to jump around, while Grant has more nooks and crannies to work through. You get three lives, and that's it, as there are no extra lives throughout the game, but you can continue where you left off by accessing the password screen. And since there are no checkpoints throughout the game, with the exception of the last stage, essentially you have infinite lives. What difference does it make if you get a game over if you're going to start at the beginning of the stage anyway? Aside from the lack of checkpoints, another unforgiving aspect is the fact that your health doesn't regenerate after advancing to the next level, unlike in most games. However, you can boost your health by grabbing first aid kits as Grant, or chicken drumsticks as the Raptor, or you can snack on some copies too. The first aid kits load up your health a lot more than the chicken or copies, so I guess I lied earlier. There's one other advantage to playing as Grant. There are interestingly no boss battles in the game. Once you get to the end of the stage, you're done. Although I guess there's really only so much you can do. I mean, there are only a handful of dinosaurs in the game anyway. If they would have saved the heavy hitters for the boss battles, then you'd only be dealing with copies the whole game. The exception is the final stage. You do get a boss battle then, but in both Grant and Raptor modes, it's a brutal disappointment, but I'll get into that later. The graphics are really good, and the animation is pretty freaking awesome, particularly on Dr. Grant, whose animations were rendered through motion capture, which was very much in video game infancy in 1993. The controls aren't great though, they feel kinda stiff, there's a bit of a delay particularly with crouching, and it's not easy to keep control of yourself in midair. These flaws are more pronounced in Grant mode, which contributes to the harder difficulty, but if it ever gets overly frustrating, you can always toggle the difficulty level. The soundtrack is mediocre. It's very bass driven, which doesn't make it bad, but half the time there's only a bass and a percussion track, which makes these particular songs sound underwritten. The final stage theme, however, is terrific, and the sound effects applied to the dinosaurs are translated well. Jurassic Park is rough around the edges, but it has a charm about it. It's more than playable. So the game starts out with a cutscene. If you're playing as Grant, you'll be in the gas-powered jeep when the power goes out, and the infamous T-Rex escaping the cage and tearing up the jeep scene unfolds. So after narrowly escaping the jaws of death, you'll have to traverse through the jungle. Pick up the blue darts and grenades off the ground, and simply hop across the Triceratops in front of you. He won't attack you unless you attack first. If you have to, use the grenades to put him to sleep. The Dilophosaurus will spit a blinding gook at you. Duck and fire at him. Darts or grenades work fine. There's some health down here if you need it, but grab it and get out quickly. There are pesky compies down here. Grab the darts down here, and then shoot down the pterodactyl before jumping across this branch. After sliding down, there are some red darts and a health pack up these branches. Slide down again, grab the darts, and shoot down the pterodactyls that fly overhead before using this branch as a springboard over these spikes. Hop down here, kill the compy hiding in this nook, and grab the red darts and a health pack. 
There'll be another compy down here along with the Dilophosaurus. Take them out and grab the grenades. After sliding down here, hop up here and slide between these rocks. Grab the first aid kit and hop onto this ledge in between falling rocks. Take down the compies, grab the red darts, and then slip down here where the rocks were falling onto this ledge. Use the grenades on the Triceratops. Grab the health pack at the end of the path and then slip down here and use the head of the Brachiosaur as a stepping stone to get over the water death pit below on your way to the end of the stage. The raptor's opening cutscene isn't nearly as impressive as its Grant counterpart. The cage is open and the raptor's escaped. The end. Early on there'll be some compies. Eating them is always the better idea, and you'll get a smidgen of a health increase. Plus, if you squash them, they don't die and could wake up and re-attack you if you wait long enough. The guards here will fire off tasers at you, leap over their attacks, and slash their heads. After a long line of compies and Dilophosauruses, get a long high jump, kill the guards, and then kill the Dilophosaurus. Grab the chicken wing and then slip down here to the end. Next stage is the power station. As Grant, head straight, grab the darts, and then head back up the ladder you passed. Grab the flash grenades here, head left, and get ready to duck down and fire, cause there's your first raptor ahead. After killing the compi, grab the battery for the taser, use the crate to get up here, grab the darts, climb up here, climb up and across the wire, and grab the health down here. Watch the timing of the electric charges, and jump between them. Then scale across the wires up top and take the elevator down. You'll soon come across a grid of wires with an electrical current that flows around. Stay to the far left as you climb up, wait for the current to veer away from you, and climb past it and wait for the next one to get out of the way. They stay segregated, so you only have to worry about one at a time. Get the red darts ready, cause there's a couple of raptors ahead. One of them here as you climb onto this beam, and another just before you enter this little vent shaft you'll crawl through. There are annoying ass compies in here. Shoot them down if they cross paths with you, and go for the health in the lower left hand corner if you need it. And be ready to blast the raptor when you get out of the narrow space. Watch the currents, and climb up here to get out. Kill the Dilophosaurus, ride the elevator up, and there'll be some more Dilophosauruses and compies. And you have the option to climb up here if you want some flash grenades, just be wary of the Dilophosaurus that's guarding them. Then climb down, kill all the dinos in your path, and you'll get to a fork in the road with two ladders. They both lead you to the T-Rex, whose head pops out through the wall, and neither direction gives you any kind of advantage. Either way, you need to slip by him without him swallowing you whole, and while it is possible to land a well-timed jump over him, it's recommended to simply toss a flash grenade at his head, rendering him temporarily blind and surprisingly carefree about the whole thing. After that, you've reached the end of the stage. As far as the raptor goes, you've got a few guards early on. Kill them, grab the chicken if you need it, and stand on this oil drum to leap up here, and head right. Take the high road. If you drop down, you have to deal with electrical currents, and a bunch of guards with rocket launchers in a tight space, making it much harder to lunge at them. Up top, you've got plenty of room to work. There's less guards, they only throw grenades anyway, and there's some compies and chicken to eat for minimal health upgrades. Just keep yourself at the highest point until you get to this drop here. There are a couple of the guards with rocket launchers, but there's at least some headspace here to attack them, and the end is right after. The river stage is next, but it's a grant exclusive. You'll skip this one if you're the raptor. You'll ride a raft and need to continuously pick up fuel cans or you'll run out of gas and effectively be fucked. Make sure you hold forward on the d-pad to keep yourself from dropping down waterfalls. Stop and jump out of the raft whenever you hit up a nearby hill. The raft will stop so don't worry about getting stranded, and grab whatever fuel or ammo is available. There's usually a raptor or Dilophosaurus guarding the shit, so take them out. When you get to this spot, let yourself fall down with the raft, but definitely head up to this hill. Kill the Dilophosaurus, and jump across to the other side where you have to deal with some pterodactyls and a raptor. But there's a couple fuel tanks and some red darts for your troubles. When you get to the T-Rex, quickly toss grenades to distract him and slip by. Then grab the can guarded by this raptor. When you get to these falls, hop out onto this hill up here, kill the Dilophosaurus, and hop into this other raft. You'll end up falling to your death if you take the old one down. As you cross streams here, let yourself fall down this way to the bottom of the river. This is the home stretch. Shoot the pterodactyls that fly overhead, and just fire one simple shot at the brachiosaurs that get in your way. Once they're hit, they'll slip back down underwater. Toss a grenade at the pissed off triceratops and you've reached the end. The pump station is next. 
Grab the darts and grenades at the outset, and climb back up into this tunnel and up two ladders. You'll have to hit the switch to open up the cover that's blocking you. This will become a recurring theme in this stage. Leap over the Triceratops skull, slip down here for some red darts, and jump across here to the other side. Head right, climb up here, and turn the valve to get the stream out of your way, and climb up for some rockets and a health pack. Then head back to where you just made that jump, and hop onto the Brachiosaur head, and hop into this tunnel as he lowers. Scale across the open pit, and push this huge ass wheel, but be sure to wait a bit before advancing, as it rolls back and forth and can easily ruin your day by flattening you. So wait till it's come to a stop. Use it as a boost to get up here, and push this crate against the wall to get onto the ladder. When you get here, push the switch and the alarm kicks in. Quickly make your way up before the cover closes back up. If it does, you'll have to drop back down and do it again. Grab the battery and darts here, and then blind the T-Rex with a flash grenade and pass through. Follow the linear path and turn the valve to turn off the stream, and use the crate to get up here. Slip down, hugging the right side of the wall just so, to avoid the steam. Kill the raptor, slip down, turn off the steam by this valve, and slip down here carefully to move on. Walk up the slope, crouch down, and grab the medical pack. Toss a grenade in here to subdue the raptor, hit the switch to get the chain in motion, and climb up it as it carries you. Head across the water tank, grab the batteries on these upper platforms, and be wary of the two raptors down below. Take them down as they try to climb up, and drop down and head forward to the exit. As the raptor, take out the first guard quickly, and then hop from one side of the pit to the other. There's no real point in exploring these tunnels as they're just filled with guards and some compies. Except there is a piece of chicken on the right side, might as well eat that. Get to the highest point you can on the right side, and when you slip down here, leap up and kill the guard up here and advance. You can theoretically go under this pipe and reach him from the other side, but he'll most certainly tag you with the taser, so don't bother. Then leap across the way and take out all the guards along the linear path. Slip down here and carefully jump across the pit of liquid shit onto the narrow platforms. You can turn back and grab the chicken in this tight spot here, but it's not worth the minuscule amount of health you'll get out of it, especially since you're at the home stretch at this point. When you get to the last tiny ass platform, Jump up high and cling to the pipe, and head right. You'll have the option to work your way through all these guards and these small passages, but you're better off just slipping down here. Be sure to steer yourself away from the sludge pit, leap over two more pits, and keep going and exit the building to the canyon. Grab the blue darts and battery right away, and there'll be a raptor here that's either sleeping or playing dead. Once you pass it, it'll spring up to attack, so be ready to take it down, along with its buddy that tries the pack hunting technique. Shoot down the pterodactyls from above, as well as the Dilophosauruses ahead of you, and grab the rockets. Watch out for falling rocks as you fire at the Dilophosaurus and leap over the spike pits. Wait for them to fall before jumping so you don't get hit. When you get to the wall, grab the red darts, drop down, and immediately kill the raptor. Then slip down, grab the red darts, and drop down here, killing another one. Then back up, crawl into here, and grab a health kit that's guarded by a Dilophosaurus. Shoot the Brachiosaurus so he'll lower out of your way, climb the vine, and the end is just ahead. Climb up for the first aid kit, and then drop onto this weak ass piece of land that'll take you to the exit. I don't know why the hell there are guards in the canyon, but oh well. Climb up here and knock this rock onto the guard below. Don't jump up here, as the guard will shoot you down with a taser. Take the low route instead, and there's an optional piece of chicken on the left, guarded by a Dilophosaurus. Then carefully jump onto this narrow platform to move on, and when you get up here, you'll have seemingly stumbled upon a freaking pterodactyl's nest. Which makes me wonder why this asshole is hanging around up here. Don't even go left, just head right to avoid all that shit, and slip down here. There'll be a pretty long line of guards with some powerful weapons. Move quickly, killing whatever's in your path, take a long leap up here, and you'll exit the stage down this pit. That volcano that's in the background of the canyon level is where you'll go next, but only if you're Grant, as the raptor was apparently smart enough to realize you can simply walk around the fucking thing, or at least avoid the inside of it. Anyway, there'll be a Dilophosaurus early on from across the way. You can't hit him from over here yet, so wait for an opening between his spittings and slide down into some grenades. Then climb up here and take down the Dilophosaurus that was just bugging you earlier. Grab the health kit and continue on. Grab the rockets, and now it's a long line of raptors down the linear path. I guess these raptors didn't think to walk around the volcano. Keep your distance and take them down. 
Hop across these platforms and grab the rockets. Slip down and hop over the lava pits. You've got a raptor and a compi as well as a couple of small pits on your way to the end. Just like the canyon, it's a short stage. The visitor center is the final stage. Creep your way down the stairs to lure the raptor up, retreat and take it out when it gets level with you. Grab the darts up here and wipe out the raptor with a grenade. Shoot down this crate to give you a boost and the T-Rex will make an appearance right after. You can blind it like usual or you can simply use this platform to jump over it if you want to save some ammo. Just don't get too close. And make sure you climb down here to get the rockets either way. Shoot down the raptors and Dilophosaurus on your way to the elevator down. Kill the Dilophosaurus and try to avoid the compies and the door ahead will take you to the next segment. More Dilophosaurus and raptors in the corridor. Just make sure you turn around quick to take down the sneak attack raptor right before you grab the rockets. And hop up here for a health kit. And a battery on the floor right before the next door. Kill the raptor and Dilophosaurus and climb up into this vent and pass through. Then slip back down and when the opening presents itself, take out the raptor and head back for some rockets. Then climb back up into the vent and continue until you make your way into the main hall for the final showdown with two raptors. I know you've been battling raptors all day, so this is kind of a weak final boss, especially when you have a fucking T-Rex roaming around, but they wanted to mirror the climax of the film, I reckon. These raptors are on steroids, speed, cocaine, and anything else you can think of, because no matter how many rockets you pump into them, they can't be stopped or even slowed down. So what the hell are you supposed to do? Well, instead of dropping straight down, you're going to want to slip onto the skeleton and slip down the front of it, and you'll land between the raptors who are guarding either side and are completely oblivious to your presence. Now you'd think this would be an ample opportunity to shoot them down, but like I said, they're basically immune. So what you have to do is toss grenades at the base of the skeletons, which causes them to collapse onto the raptors, killing them both. You'll then get a brief ending cutscene with the helicopter flying you off to safety as the T-Rex roars and the credits roll. As the raptor, kill the guard and Dilophosaurus, and there's a chicken leg back here and a compi ahead to munch on. There's another chicken leg here, then climb up and eat the chicken on this small ledge. Kick open the doors and kill whatever awaits you. All of them Dilophosauruses and guards. Waste no time with the guards, especially if there's more than one, because they're heavily armed. Eat the chicken up here, and there are some more compies and a chicken leg up here. At least this final stage is generous with health upgrades. After taking out three guards at the end, you'll reach the next segment. After a Dilophosaurus early on, there'll be these short platforms with guards on top and bottom. The top routes both have only one guard, so you can take less damage that way. And there's no shame in just running past everything, since you're faster, it'll save you some health. The door head leads you to a short segment where you jump from one platform to the other. There's only a Dilophosaurus and a Compi in this room, no big whoop. You'll exit into the room with the vent option. Kick the door open and take the low route. It's easier to deal with the Dilophosaurus and Compies in the more open rooms than it is to deal with the guards in such a tight space. But this heavily armed guard can be a pain in the ass. You're not going to be able to get him from underneath. So once you get into the third room, climb up into the vent, get a running start, and jump over the opening to slash him. If you get knocked down, head back a room and try again. Once you do get past him, stay up top and the main hall is just ahead. Grant stands atop the skeleton, unleashing a whirlwind of weaponry at you. Much like the raptors when you're playing as Grant, no attack seems to work, as he'll fend you off if you so much as get within breathing distance of the prick. And much like that final boss, this one is just as easy to accomplish. In fact, it's even easier. Just walk up to the base of the skeleton and kick the fucking thing a few times. The skeletons collapse, Grant runs off, and then you get a short cutscene of the raptor in a crate being shipped off the island to presumably Costa Rica, and the credits roll. These boss battles are the drizzling shits. For one thing, the solution is pretty cryptic. I mean, who the hell is gonna try dismantling the skeletons the first time they get here, or even the second or third time they try? Of course, the first instinct is gonna be to fight the motherfuckers, and even once you discover that there's something more to it than that, you're likely not gonna believe it would be something as simple as this. So once you do finally figure it out, you're gonna be so fucking pissed that you went through all that bullshit only to learn that you just had to kick the rock or toss a grenade over the raptor. Not to mention that the lone boss battle in the entire game, it turns out, is easy as shit and no fun to experience. There's no combat or strategic element to it at all. A sequel to this game would follow, Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. But maybe we'll talk about that one another time. And that wraps up this edition of Aqualung's Game Reviews. See you next time.